Welcome to Austin, Texas. My name is Alan. And I'm Lorelai. And today we're going to do an adventure proof makeup tutorial using Bray Cosmetics. Right, first we're gonna start with this Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Ann Webb. Just because I always like to put down a little extra moisture on the skin before we do any sort of layering of any other makeup. And as everyone knows, Hyaluronic Acid is everyone and their grandmother's favorite new moisturizer because it binds a thousand times its weight in water and blah blah blah, it makes you look good dewy and nice she gets with it on but it's oil based so it can penetrate into her skin quickly and I can go ahead and continue with my makeup application all right next we're gonna lock in that serum with our Ray Cosmetics retexturizing surface face primer and this is gonna have SPF 20 of a chemical sunscreen. It's a silicone based product, so it's gonna give us that texture smoothing effect, as well as a little bit of like a beauty blur, sort of like an Instagram filter that goes with you. It's also gonna keep your makeup looking cute and nice, and it's gonna give that velvety matte finish. Now I don't want to put any of this on her eyes because it does have 1% salicylic acid in it just to keep the pores clean. Next is going to be our best-selling tinted moisturizer. This product is my favorite. Just one pump will get you coverage for the whole face. It has mineral-based antioxidant. It is completely sweat-proof because the product is water-based and contains no oil. As you can see, I'm applying it to the high points of her face first and I'll blend it out to the rest from there. But I kinda wanna treat it like half a foundation, half a moisturizer, because it'll give me the best of both. You can see the coverage is very sheer and very minimal. It's more of a general skin health product than just full coverage cover up, but you can definitely build the coverage up using the concealer and the powder. And the tinted moisturizer is still gonna give you all the benefits, which includes ginkgo biloba to help include increased circulation, SPF 20 of a non-chemical sunscreen, which is just zinc and titanium dioxide. A little bit of antioxidants to protect you from the sun and from nature and then a little bit of a skin smoothing effect. As you can see, the skin is very glowy and luminous and dewy. All right, gorgeous. And it still looks like real skin, even up close. Next, I'm gonna come in with my medium neutral concealer using my concealer brush and to keep myself from putting too much concealer directly on her face which is often people's problem I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my hand that way I can kind of see what I'm doing with it before I commit to any amount on the face As you can see, I'm going to continue her concealer line all the way up her cheekbone. And that's 
It's gonna give me the effect of an elongated cheekbone, which just looks very elegant. All right, so I wanna come and apply this concealer right down here, a little bit lower than most people think. Right where her eye muscle right here starts to meet her cheek muscle somewhere right here. And on some people, this line is a little more clear, like you'll just be able to see it. Here on Lorelei, it's very smooth, so we're just gonna have to imagine it. And then I'm gonna follow her cheekbone all the way up. For bonus points, I can highlight her brow bone a little bit. Because a cute, bright brow bone never hurt anyone. And then I want to blend it, and I want to make sure that I get the skin as smooth as it can be. So look up, Lorelei, and you can see that it's much tighter now. You can blend it much more easily. As you can see, I'm making sure to blend the concealer up to the corner of her eye here, and then I want to take it back from there. It's very important that I hit that corner, though because if you don't take it right up to the eye, the concealer will kind of accent somewhere beneath the eye and it'll throw off your whole face, whatever, rhythm. But the more that the skin folds here, the less like heavy cream that it can handle. So you gotta figure out what works for your face. And the concealer is definitely blended. Don't worry if you can still see it clearly upon the skin. Once we put the powder on is when everything will kind of come home and it'll be perfectly hidden. But even so, it's looking pretty smooth and I can kind of blend it down to the cheek, which is often a problem area for people, just to boost, boost a little bit of the coverage there. You could just go back over and add a little bit more coverage where you think you need it but making sure to hit the corner of the eye here, and then continuing up. If I made a nice, strong highlight on the other side of the face, I wanna make sure that I'm doing it over here too so I don't look lopsided. And a little bit in the brow bone. And that's under eye concealer. That's a secret to no one. If we want to balance sort of the face a little more, we put a little bit here in the center. And that way I have something bright over here, and something bright over here, something bright over here catching attention. It's a little more balanced than just over here and over here. And go ahead and carve out her eyebrows while I'm doing this. That makes them pop a little harder. Down the center of the nose, you want to be careful not to get too crazy with it. But it can definitely help tone down some of the redness that occurs in the nose sometimes. And it can just give the nose a little bit of structure. Once you've highlighted all the high points of the face with your concealer, which include, you know, the tip of the nose, the forehead, the cheeks, the brow bones, and then the chin, then you can move the spot coverage if there's any blemishes or anything you want to take care of. But don't worry about completely covering something up because the mineral powder is going to give you the bulk of your coverage. So if you didn't completely get something with the concealer, as long as you kind of toned it down a little bit, you still should still be good. We're gonna finish her off with some Ray Cosmetics Mineral Powder. This is not sheer, it is tinted, but you can still use it like a finishing powder. It doesn't contain any talc in it, and that's what keeps it from drying your face out. It's actually gonna create a little moisture barrier to help lock moisture into the skin. And people are often worried about things settling into fine lines. Setting any liquid makeup with this powder 
will keep it from entering those lines, as opposed to making it do it worse. Not only that, but it's going to give you that perfect coverage that you want, while still looking completely natural. And best of all, it stays on no matter what you're doing. And that's why it's adventure proof. You can see the powder just kind of smooths everything out. And we can definitely still see the highlight from the concealer. But now it's not so clear exactly where it begins and where it ends. I will do a little powder on the lids just for the sake of color continuity. And some people do get a little bit of oil collecting on their eyelids. Places where I have concealer, I want to be a little more careful with the powder so as to not move the concealer around too much. So I want to kind of press and push there. So here I can clearly see the concealer line, even though I kind of want to leave it a little bit because it really gives me the structure for the face. So I still just want to push and press this powder on over it so I don't move the concealer away from where I just worked to put it. But the powder is triple milled and very fine, so if you feel like you need a little more coverage that day or whatever, you can put a little extra on and it still won't look bad and it won't make you look dry or anything. But now that we've done a lot of highlighting and smoothing of the skin, it's like I want to add a little bit of those tones back, those natural tones around the face. So I'm going to start with her cheekbone co contour. And I'm just placing this in a little bit of a nude blush called Bohemian, along with our Endless Summer Bronzer. It's a very sheer bronzer, so it's not going to suddenly make her too dark or anything. It'll just add a little sun-kissed glow. And I'm using the three application method. It's going to be the top of the forehead, scooped into the cheek contour, and then finish off on the chin. This is going to help give definition to the chin, but also tone down any color changes that occur between the face and the neck. And the top of the head is just where the sun would naturally be hitting you if you were outside being active. but I already worked to highlight the center of her forehead with that concealer. So the bronzer on the outside edge is almost just like the second half of that. And anytime you do something in a more complete shape, it always looks more natural and looks better. Looks like it was made for you. And inadvertently, we get a little bit more coverage just because we are using more powder on the face. Not that coverage is the be all end all, but looking nice and smooth is something that everyone enjoys. I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of life to the face with some color. That just means blush, and I'm loving something coral toned for her because of the blonde hair and the warm toned skin and the hazel eyes. I do like to apply my blush a little bit higher near the eye socket just so it can really play with the eye color and it can pull all the features up. approach to her eye makeup even though we're not doing an eyeshadow look I'm just gonna bronze her crease with that same bronzer that I used to bronze her face So 
So a little bit of blush on the eyelids, I think is a cute way to warm up the eyes without having to do a full eyeshadow look or anything. I don't think anyone's gonna look at you and say, wow, I love your eyeshadow today. But people will just kind of get a different feeling when you look at them. It's almost like you look nicer when you have blush. And I mean nicer in like a sweet way. Very cute. This is the brand new Ray Cosmetics Tinted Brow Gel with Fiber. With fiber just means that it'll actually make your hair look like thicker as opposed to just drawing on and adding pigment. And then for her lip, I'm actually just going to use a waterproof lip liner to fill her entire lip so I get something long lasting. This is a new shade called S'more, but I don't want it to be too dry, so I'm actually going to dip it into this gloss and just apply it that way. And this is very similar to her natural lip color. So it's really going to give us a nice natural look. And it's so easy to just use a pencil and fill up your lip, color in the lines, or a little bit outside. Wonderful. That's it, yeah? Yeah. All right. And that's a finished look. This. Lorelai can go swimming, she can go hiking, she can go running, and nothing on her face will run or look terrible. In fact, she'll be protected from the elements with her SPF and antioxidants. She's good to go. What do you think, Lorelai? I am very happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a wrap.